There are also creative opportunities for the inspirationist writer in the areas devoted to character, plot progression, and theme. Looking first at the character area, you have the opportunity to create as many characters as you want. Simply assign them an icon that makes them easier to get in touch with when you're writing, put in any information that you may have, and then hit OK, and that character appears in the list. You can build characters by assigning them characteristics. For example, this character might represent faith, and this character might represent disbelief. Looking over here, you can see that these characters, because they're diagonal, come into conflict as it lists here in the character relationship window. You can fill in character motivations, purposes, methodologies, means of evaluation, assign them as various archetypes, or even typecast them as a screamer, perhaps, or a bully by going to the character examples folder. In this way, you have the opportunity to create characters that are what you have in mind before you've created a structure, before you've done anything at all in terms of your storytelling. The plot progression area is great for the plot-oriented inspirationist. Here, for each of the four essential through lines in your story, you can list all of the key plot events from the beginning to the middle to the end, all the different kinds of subject matter that need to be explored or the events that need to occur. And then when you're finished, if you're really interested in plot, you can go here and select the structural item that best represents what you've already written. In this way, if you're really into plot, you can do all of your story structuring right here without having to worry about making some of those other choices that are a little more difficult for your style as a writer. Now, if you're the kind of writer who really gets excited by the subject matter you'll be exploring in your story, you'll want to go to the theme browser. And here you'll be presented with a periodic table of story elements. Actually, it's a list of all the topics you might explore arranged in nested families. So for example, if we were interested in an activity of obtaining in our story, then we could zoom in by double clicking and look at obtaining and say what aspect of obtaining most intrigues us, the approach, the attitude, or whether somebody's doing it for their self-interest or in terms of morality. Let's say morality is what interests us. Then we click and get into even greater detail and say what aspect of morality, faith, disbelief, conscience, or temptation. If we choose faith, we now have the opportunity to determine which story point faith will show up as in our story. We might choose it as the objective story problem, or it could be the solution for the problem, or it could be the main character's personal problem, or many others, including those that scrolled off the bottom of the screen. You see, here in the theme browser, you have the opportunity to do something a little different than we're asked to do elsewhere in Dramatica. Instead of picking a story point like goal and saying, now, what subject matter will express goal? Here, for the thematic author, you're able to pick the subject matter and then determine what story point will represent it. All in all, the Dramatica software has a lot of creative environments for the inspirationist author to explore. And best of all, when you're finished, you'll also have developed a flawless structure with no holes and absolute consistency.